some French friends suggested that Yuri Maman should make a joint Russian-French film, which led to the creation of the 1993 film Window to Paris or Salad Russ. The film starts with residents of a St. Petersburg communal apartment of 1990s finding a window hidden behind a cupboard that leads to a mansard roof and shows the effect of this discovery. The film is a grotesque prediction of the effect of fall of the Iron Curtain on the life in Europe, about the invasion of Russian demoralized businessmen and the humiliation of the intelligentsia in Russia. At the end of the film, the main character, Nikolai Shishov, a school music teacher and a member of the Russian intelligentsia, gives a persuasive speech to the children, who have decided to remain in Paris. In his words, you were born in a terrible time in a poor, devastated country. But it is your country, after all. Don't you want to make it better? At that time, this was a rather rare demonstration of patriotism, the authors of the film and all its actors were quite sincere. As a division of Lenfilm, the film company Troitsky most refused to participate in financing the project, thus putting the French partners on the edge of financial collapse and threatening the production of the film. Because of this situation, Yuri Maman was urged to establish his own film company in order to attract support from commercial businesses that were thriving in post-perestroika Russia. That is how Yuri Maman's Fountain Fund for Support and Development of Cinematography was created. It was this in particular that facilitated financing for the film Window to Paris from the French fund CNC. The comedy Window to Paris attained such success in France and at the Berlin Film Festival that Michael Barker, the CEO president of the American distribution company Sony Pictures Classics, arranged for the film to be released in the United States, and twice requested Goscano to submit the film Window to Paris for the 1994 Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film. Barker wrote, the response to the film at screenings in Los Angeles and New York has been terrific with both the critics and the audiences. It seems to communicate the message of bringing two cultures together in a warm and enlightening manner. Should Salad Rus be the official Russian entry to the Academy for the Best Foreign Film Academy Award, we feel confident the picture will not only be nominated for the award, but has a very good chance to ultimately win the award itself. However, at that time Nikita Mikhakov, with his freshly finished film Burnt by the Sun, greatly wished to be considered for the Oscar. Elam Klimov was immediately replaced by Mikhakov's brother, Andrei Konkolovsky, who agreed to send the film Burnt by the Sun to the United States. The members of the Russian Oscar Committee remain under the control of Nikita Mikhakov, who shapes the politics of Russian cinematography. Therefore, in Mamin's opinion, neither the best nor the most talented films are being submitted to the American Film Academy, but rather the ones created by Mikhakov's favorite artists. The idea of a mystical window, a dimensional portal between Russia and Paris, came to the mind of the Moscow screenwriter Felix Myriner long before Gorbachev's perestroika. He told this idea to the filmmaker Alexei German, who sold it 20 years later to Arkady Tagei, Yuri Maman's CEO author, for a bottle of cognac.